So remember how I did a 10 week fitness challenge a while ago and it was a complete disaster? Um, so I then did a video, which you can see linked, uh, where I talked about how it was a failure and how I was just trying to move more and eat healthier and things like that. Something happened. Can you? Oh my goodness. Could you imagine a better place to run than this? Man, I love running. It still doesn't make it any easier. It's still hard. Right, back to it. So I've always run. What do you, you want to be in the vlog? When I was little, my dad used to run a lot. And as I got older, I wanted to go too. And I started to run. So I've always run. I used to run a lot. When I was young, I used to just, I would run forever. I'd never get tired. I'd keep going. I loved it. I once did like a, a half marathon one evening just, just for the fun of it. Problem is, what happened is I injured my left, my right ankle and I snapped three of the tendons out of the, uh, there's like five, there's like two on the inside, three on the outside, snapped all three on the outside, couldn't walk for like six months, couldn't put enough pressure to do a hobbly run for like eight months, and I just lost it, completely lost interest, I gained weight, I, I did gym for years, I did all that stuff, but it just never spoke to me. But what happened this time is I came home from, from work, and then after sitting at work all day, staring at my computer screen, I came home, I sat down, and what did I do? I stared at my computer screen. And I was sitting there, looking at the monitor. I wasn't playing a game. I wasn't on the internet. I wasn't watching YouTube. I was staring at my desktop. And I was like that for like, maybe a good 15 minutes, just zoned out, staring at a screen for no reason. And suddenly, I just had the voice in my head like, what are you doing? You work all day staring at a computer, you come home and you stare at a computer all the time. You know that time when you close your eyes and all you can see is the, the, the grid layout of Excel spreadsheets. And I was at that point and, and I thought, I've got to get out of here. So I put on my old running shoes and a jacket because it was a bit cold and windy outside and, and I, I went for a walk. And I kept walking, and I walked and I walked and walked until I decided I didn't want to walk anymore. And I did maybe a good five kilometer walk, which isn't huge, but from someone who hasn't exercised properly for a while, it was a big deal. And I felt really good afterwards, and I thought, I need to move more. That's my problem. That's why I was feeling depressed. You know, that my plans weren't working out. I was just sitting around feeling depressed, feeling sorry for myself. Things weren't working. But the, at that moment was when I thought, if I keep moving, I'm going to feel better, I'm going to be clearer, I'm going to be able to make better decisions, I'm going to be able to, to work on what I need to work on to get where I need to be. And I did that for like a week. But I was getting bored of walking. It just felt like it was taking forever. And so I started to run a little bit. And that turned into running a little bit more. And then that turned into running a little bit more. And within 
two and a half weeks I was running again and I my muscle memory kicked in and I felt great and every night when I came from from work all I could think about when I was coming home from work was I can't wait to go running all of my past of wanting to run came back to me and so I started to run I started to lose the weight that I wanted to lose I started to to sleep better I started to feel better it all came back to me there are plenty of great videos about running currently Hannah she did a great video about why we run about her doing marathons and, and things like that is a really great video I'll link that below um, Casey Neistat of course awesome inspiration when it comes to running and being productive um, he did a, a really cool video with an Olympic runner which I saw recently and I'll link that below too um, they were really cool videos and they're inspiring so so if you want stuff on just like running and how to run that sort of stuff go there this is just my story about really rediscovering my love for running but also rediscovering myself a little bit and also rediscovering a clarity that I was missing for so long and it doesn't matter whether you run it doesn't matter whether you play sport it doesn't matter whether you go to the gym moving feels good if all you do is it nothing all week and then in the weekend you go for a tramp for like three hours that could be enough that could be what you need to clear your mind even if it's just yoga meditation things like that if that's what helps you my my point is move for me it's about running and I run for my life I want to be somebody who can have the energy to keep up with my kid when he's a bit older I want to be somebody who when I get to my 70s or even just into my 60s that I'm active and I'm moving and I'm doing stuff that's what I'm, my goal is that's and that's why I run it's raining it started to rain I knew it would anyway it doesn't matter if it rains do it anyway. Run for your life.